All right, guys, in this video, I am gonna pull back the curtain, open the kimono, show you guys the exact deals that we've done in our land business in the last 30 days. And in that time, we've added over $600,000 as pipeline gross profit from a total of eight deals that we've contracted in 30 days. Now, for context, this is from June 18th to July 18th, 2024. And before we dive into the nitty gritty, I wanna let you guys know that inside of Leo, which is our land investing accelerator program, we now have a six, figure guarantee that six figures and pipeline gross profit in 12 months or we will personally work with you until you get there that is truly the best guarantee in the whole entire land investing industry or maybe just in the biz op industry in general if you do not have a land business that's at six figures yet you would be foolhardy to not take us up on this. That's why I've wanted to remove all the risks to make it a no brainer. And we've changed hundreds of lives in the last year and a half. Frankly, I wanna give you the same opportunity. Go to landinvestor.co slash apply. I'm up on a call, we'll break it all down for you and you can make a decision from there. All right guys, so for context, $622,763 in the last 30 days, that is our gross pipeline profit. So let's back up, what exactly is pipeline profit? This is something that I learned years ago in a mastermind that I was in, and I think it's one of the best ways to get kind of a quick health report on our land business. You know, in the land space, there's such a latency between the work that we put forth and when we actually go and capture those results. So revenue this month, be indicative of the work that was actually done this month. You know, typically when we go and send out direct mail pieces, which is our main marketing channel, it might take us six months before we start kind of harvesting those seeds that we planted in terms of cash in our bank account from those mailers. So what do we do instead? Well, we look at our pipeline. And our pipeline is just saying, here are the deals that we've contracted on the acquisition side. Here's what we bought them at. Here's what we expect to sell them at. And that's our spread in between. Okay, that's our gross pipeline profit. And every month we look at our gross pipeline profit to get a sense of how are we doing? Right. The other thing is that sales in the land business, the dispositions, the actual selling the properties that we buy, it's really bumpy. Right. We have months where we sell three properties and you have months where you sell 15 properties and there's just not much of a rhyme or a reason. So I find this to be a much better metric to lean on. All right. Now that's out of the way. Most months aren't this good. $622,000 in pipeline profit is a big month. We're going to go through and actually look at each one of these deals. And I'll just share some feedbacks and thinking how we got the deal, all that good stuff. Now for context, I've been running this business since 2019. I personally put about five to 10 hours a week into this business. We've got an amazing team that's spaced out between the Philippines, Mexico, Pakistan, and the US. Okay. In the last year and a half, we really started to shrink our team size. I used to have close to double the people and it was triple the complexity. So now my whole thing this year is less people, but better people. A players and more of a tight knit intimate community. Now for clarity, most months we're going to do anywhere between 150,000 to maybe $300,000 that's added to our pipeline. This is a pretty big standout month and it came from a few deals. What's really interesting is although this is just for a 30 day period, the week and a half after we probably added another 200 to $300,000 to our pipeline. So it's jumped a lot. Like in the last 45 days, we're probably right under a million dollars added to our pipeline. And what's interesting is what you'll see in these numbers is the Pareto principle. It's the 80, 20. The vast majority of that pipeline is actually being generated from a minority of the deals. And when we go and look at what our land business starts to look like over time, it's that. And you'll find there's even commonalities between those deals that bring home the bacon, where they're located, the deal size, the deal type, the exit strategy, the disposition channel, they start to find commonalities. And that's what we've been working on since really 2019. And so our business nowadays looks like a COO, so like a main operations person, texting. Then we've got a marketing manager, someone that's just kind of overseeing the whole marketing organism and orchestrating that. Two acquisition managers, and then kind of like a back office, do a little bit of everything generalist VA type role. So that's how our team is structured. Our marketing channels right now are pretty much 90% direct mail and texting. And then we fill in a little bit of RVMs here and there, but it's very, very sniper-like. And in case, in a lot of cases, those RVMs are going out to prospects that we might've already talked to. So we're not really doing a lot of cold RVMs there. And we've added a new secret marketing channel, which I'm not gonna talk about in this video, but I will be talking more about it in future videos. That new marketing channel is adding about 10 to 25 new leads a month to our CRM. And we're using old data that was already laying around. So pretty much getting these leads for close to nothing in our business, which is awesome. Most of the deals that we're doing nowadays fall into our mid-market strategy. So between 25,000 and $250,000 for a list price, those days, there's some outliers, but most of them are falling in that category. We're working in really high demand, low supply markets, which we find through Land Insights. Landinsights.co is a tool that we created that helps find these markets. We do our pricing through there. We find all the demand metrics. We do our data scrubbing. So right now we're scrubbing all of our data, removing landlocked, flood zone, wetlands, all those crappy properties. And we do our skip tracing through there as well. 
Right now we're skip tracing about 75,000 records a month. So it all goes through land and type. And what else? We're doing a mix of cash close, double close. We've got probably about 15% of our deals, 10%, I don't know, some of that category, which are like value add deals. And those are all really going to be either rural subdivides, so like exemption based subdivides. We're doing like landlocked properties where we're creating access, bad title, probate stuff. But the majority of it right now are exemption based subdivides. All right, enough yapping. Let's hop into the spreadsheet and let's go take a look. Okay, so our first one, looks like my team did not put the location of where these properties are. That's okay. Came for our acquisition manager, Jordan. This deal came from cold texting. This was a purchase price of $8,237 with an exit at $24,000. So the pipeline profit on that is $15,763. Now, one thing that is not included in this are realtor fees. So depending on the deal, we'll pay anywhere between 4% to 8% as a realtor commission and then closing costs. Okay. I'm probably have about 1200 bucks, maybe 800 bucks to 2000 bucks when we blend closing costs on the acquisitions and the disposition. It ranges on every deal in every state. So it's a little more variable there. The next one was through one of our acquisition managers, Edgar. This actually also came from cold texting. It was a buy for 23,500, sell for 45,000 a gross profit of 21.5 on that deal. Next one was also from Edgar, also from cold texting. This month we had a lot of cold texting deals and only one mail deal, which is interesting. This is a buy for 12.5, sell for 40,000. It's a pipeline of profit of 27,500 bucks. What's crazy is back in the day, my base salary was initially $35,000 a year. And that, that one deal is not far off from it. It's just, it, it's crazy how your life can change. Just in a few short years, I was working at that job in 2019. It was the one and only corporate job I've ever had. And sometimes it's easy to take these numbers for granted, honestly. Next, also from Jordan, this came from direct mail, buy for 21,000, sell for 45,000 with a spread of $24,000. Here's where things start to get a little bit more exciting. This is a rural subdivide. This deal came from cold texting. We're buying this deal for $128,000, okay? Exit on this is 310,000. We've chopped it up into four lots, okay? So we took 40 acre, chopped it up into four 10 acre lots. Our pipeline profit on this is $182,000. We had $2,500 as a survey cost on this deal. So we did have to get it surveyed and that is actually baked into the purchase price. I think our original purchase was in the low 120s, looks like the team added that in. And I think we already have closing costs added on that one because that is already at the closing table. Next, here is a double close. This came from cold text, buy for 121,000, sell for 150,000 with a $29,000 spread on it. This deal is interesting. So this deal, we have it listed as a double close right now. It looks like we're actually gonna subdivide this one. So we've got a surveyor that's gonna be about 90 days to get out there. If we survey it, the numbers look pretty wacky. It's a 60 acre that would take down to six, 10 acres. I mean, some of the realtors have given us crazy comps that it's worth 400 or 500,000. I don't think that's realistic. I think that probably pegs us closer to like 280 to 300 if we chop it up in six tens, which would add another $150,000 to this board for the last 30 days. But that one, we have it listed as a double close right now. So we may take an offer if it comes in. We'll say it's still TBD. I'm thinking it's probably going to end up being a subdivide. Here's where things get really, really crazy. Big deal. Came from texting. Buy for 300K. This is over 300 acres. This is a monster property. Does not have any subdivided potential, unfortunately. Just the road frontage is weird. The access, the class six road. So it's just got really bad dirt road access to it. It's in the middle of nowhere but there's strong, strong comps around. Have it listed at 599 right now. We've had a bunch of people walk the property. We've got some offers, nothing that we've decided to take yet. It's got a spread of about $299,000. I think honestly, well, actually I'll get to that last point in a second. I'm gonna save that. And last, but certainly not least, is also from texting to buy for 16,000, sell for 40,000 for $24,000 in spread. So a couple of things I wanna go over. Well, all of this realize that this amount, no. I typically tell people I'd forecast about 80% of that coming in at the numbers you've estimated. Some will sell a little higher, some will sell a little lower, but blended together, usually 20% discounts, so 80% of that's actually gonna be realized is a pretty safe bet. Depends on how good you are with your underwriting. I'd say we're pretty airtight at our underwriting at this point. Could be different if how you're doing your numbers, but we are always pricing things under retail value. We're always bringing a discount to market. We're always really conservative in our underwriting. I understand that typically we are not going to capture the full retail value of the property. And typically the properties that we're comparing it to as comps are usually nicer than our properties. That's just the honest truth. Now, in the same vein though, a deal like the one that I went through has the 60 acres. That one right now has been listed for $29,000 in spread. That very well could be $180,000, $150,000 of spread. So these numbers are TBD. Frankly, they could float a little bit higher. An awesome last 30 days for us. This is with a really small team. Our overhead is pretty damn small. We don't 
send a billion freaking marketing hits every single month. This is just a lean, effective team with the right principles, right playbook. Yeah, I think honestly, this is possible for anyone. This took me five years to get here. I think someone could do it way faster. In fact, inside of Leah this year, we'll probably have about 15 to 25 new land investors hit over a million dollars in their pipeline in their first year, which is amazing. And we'll have many, 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 many more Eclipse six figures in their first year. Again, I cannot encourage you guys enough. A, this is the gold rush of land currently. I really do think the next 10 years, there is a fat pitch opportunity. There's a big opportunity. And with the offer that we've created for Leah, it is frankly the gold rush of education. Six figures guaranteed in 12 months. We will work with you until you get there. Pretty nifty. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Hope this was helpful. Take care.